Hi there, everyone, and welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Sarah Newman, and I'm looking forward to showing you the Christmas Essentials Collection from our friends at Hunky Dory. We have cardstock, we have toppers, and we have sentiments to go along. So I'm going to move aside the sentiments and the cardstock just for now, and we can take a closer look at the little book of Christmas. Now you can see how thick this little book is. I'm going to bring in some of the sheets that are inside here because this little guy is packed with 120 pages of Christmas images. Now the book measures four inches by five and seven eighths, so they're perfect for use as card focals or for the inside of your card. And you're going to have six each of 20 different designs, so you've got lots to choose from as you're working on your cards. Some elegant and old-fashioned, some nature themes. This one is my 12-year-old daughter's very favorite. She thought this was adorable. And then you've got some more that are going a bit more traditional, perhaps. I absolutely love this set, and I think it just gives you kind of something for everyone on your Christmas card-making list. Now, as I'm flipping through these, you'll notice that they're all portrait style, but there are also images in here that are landscapes. So you, again, you have some choices here as well. These little teddy bears are so cute. And um, again, from traditional to a bit more playful as well. So these are all included in the little book of Christmas, not quite so little but absolutely packed with fantastic images in here. Now, to go along, we also have a sentiments pack. So let me show you this here. Now, the Essential Book of Christmas Sentiments has 40 sheets of heavyweight, adorable, scorable cardstock featuring 600 sentiments in a variety of different colorways. Now, of course, everything is color coordinated with the other elements in today's set. But as you can see, just jam packed with all kinds of sentiments. Perfect again for the front of your card or for the inside. Now, the other nice thing here too, these are all perforated, so they're just going to pop right out. They're a nice sturdy card stock, so they'll give you some nice uh, effect onto your card. Some of these will have gold foiling and others will have silver foiling. So again, some variety in there. Now, let me bring back in our cardstock pack here. This is what Hunky Dory is so well known for, their adorable, scorable cardstock. And this is the Christmas Special Edition. So here you will have 40 sheets, two each of 20 colors, which you can see here. And of course, they perfectly match the uh, other elements in today's webisode. So again, just makes everything so much easier and more fun when you're working on your Christmas cards and your other holiday projects. This collection is just really sweet and I've had so much fun playing with it. So as you can see, we have a lot to explore today and I'm really glad you're here. Come play with us. Let's start with this simple card, which features a sweet teddy bear image overlaid with vellum, a couple of layers of colored cardstock, and a sentiment. So I've started by covering my card front with the green, adorable, scorable cardstock. My card base is five inches by six and a half inches. This is one from Hot Off the Press, and this size makes a perfect foundation for the card images. So all I really need to do is just map my image and place it on the card front. And of course, with all of the variety of cardstock colors I have, I'm really spoiled for choice. So I pulled out a couple and I thought we could just have a play and see which colors we like to combine this with. So I'm gonna keep this on the white just so we have a bit of a white edge on here. But let's take a look and see how this looks. First of all, just on the red, a nice classic color. I think that looks perfect and picks up some of the red in the teddy bear shirts and the bows. So that's an easy one. Of course, that will go beautifully. The burgundy also looks really nice there too. I think that creates a lot of warmth and picks up some of the brown and some of the kind of golden colors in here too. Now you can lighten this as well with maybe some of the light blue. That also looks really pretty. And again, highlights some of the white and some of the light blue in the background too. And then finally, of course, 
The forest green also looks really perfect. Like the red, it's a great classic color and easy to mix and match with any of the images, this one included in today's webisode. So bringing back my original card, you can see here, I've got this vellum overlay on here. I wanted to sort of soften this back a little bit. So I just took some white vellum, cut it to the same size and layered this on top. Now I tore the bottom edge here of just that vellum piece and then I folded over this top corner here so that I'm creating a little bit of contrast with that image in the background there too. You can glue the vellum entirely down, glue it straight down to cover the whole thing and not lift up, but I thought it was kind of fun for the recipient to be able to lift the vellum to peek underneath, maybe a bit like peeking under the Christmas tree. And then the sentiment is attached with foam tape and I've added some jute twine at the top. Now, taking a look at the card inside, I have kind of a spotlight image here of the same teddy bear, which I've die cut into a circle and then layered with a scalloped circle die cut. And I added a Christmas dazzle down at the bottom for a finishing touch. And let me show you, I'm gonna bring back in our teddy bears here. And you can see with any of the circle dies, you can really have a lot of fun with this. Because you get multiple images in the pack, you've got some to play with for the outside of your card and the inside. So here, as you can see, I've used this size of circle die just to die cut out this particular teddy bear. Now you can play with the sizes of the dies. Maybe you want to get a more focal image in there. Maybe you want to get this little guy. Maybe you want to use a square or an oval. It kind of depends on the design and what you're looking for. So that's what I've done for the card outside and then also for the inside. Super simple to do and this is also a really great design to have on hand if you do batch making for your Christmas cards or if you have a big card making list. A simple layered card focal is a great layout to use. Okay, I have another card project to share with you also. Now this card also uses my circle cutting dies and this time to create a frame for this little winter bird. So let me bring in the little bird and we can take a look here. I just love this image and I couldn't wait to put this to use. And I thought how fun to do it on a circular step card. So what I've done is taken my circle die, simply place this on here, run it through my die cutting machine. And then I've also got some layers. I've got the nested scallop shape that goes along with that and I've die cut that from a light blue cardstock and then I have the larger circle which is die cut from the burgundy. Now you'll notice some borders on here, here as well as here. That is actually just this leftover bit down here at the bottom of the card focal piece. So you can use every little bit of that. Um, you can cut it apart, die cut it, whatever you would like to do. So the card shape is you know, the circular step card, which is one of my favorite dies. Let me show you the package here and you can see this is what it looks like. And then this is the shape. And of course, the adorable scorable cardstock works beautifully with this. So I've got my extra shape here that we can take a look at. And this is what it will look like when it's all die cut. The score lines will be scored as well. And all you need to do is just fold this up and it's ready to decorate. So however you choose to decorate it, that's the fun part. So I've got my circle here. This is three and a quarter inch circle, a little bit of jute twine. I've got my uh, sentiment on here as well, popped up with some foam tape. For the inside, I've got another leftover strip of cardstock and I've got another circle die here with some sentiments as well. Here's another folded card design, this time using the Trifold Surprise card die. I've die cut the base piece from brown, adorable, scorable cardstock, and then I've used a sanding tool to come along here and give a bit of a weathered, distressed look to the edges. So the card design is really easy to create. This is the die that I'm using. You can see the shape here. If I flip this over, you'll see that Hot Off the Press also includes step-by-step uh, -step instructions. You've got a diagram with your mountain and valley folds on there, and then also a project idea as well. So really helps to make that a lot easier. Now this is the die as it comes. 
This is just one piece, one and done, that's all you need. You'll run this through your die cutting machine and you'll have your card not only cut out, but also the score lines on here too. Now one thing to keep in mind, if you are die cutting with cardstock that is single sided, so like the adorable scoreable cardstock is colored on one side and it's white on the other side, then you'll want to decide what color you want to be on the front. So of course I've chosen brown here. On the back, I've got white. So when I'm die cutting this, I want to make sure that I'm placing my die on the white side of the cardstock. So position that down, use a little bit of low tack tape on there and run it through your die cutting machine. And then you will have a piece that looks like this. So I've got my cut line on here, my score line as well. And then I just need to fold this up and I do recommend using a bone folder to really crease those lines down. And then you can decorate as you wish. So I'll bring back in my card and we can see again how I've decorated this. So the bird is die cut and layered with the rectangle die. So you can see this is how he originally comes. And I've just used a rectangle die to trim him down. Then I've positioned him with the scalloped rectangle on here. I've got a border going down the bottom of my card and that's actually just the bottom portion of my um, cardstock piece here, kind of like the previous card we saw. Now, as I mentioned, I used a sanding tool to add a bit of a weathered look along the edges of the cardstock and on the folds here too. And I've also done this along the edges of the sentiments too, to take off a little bit of that beautiful metallic gold on there just to give a softer and um, more distressed effect. And then I've got a little bit of jute twine to add another soft touch. I love that card design. I also love, you may know, a tag in a bag, especially around the holidays. And the adorable scorable cuts so nicely and it really makes a sturdy little bag and a tag as well. So the die that I'm using for this, of course, tag in a bag, you've got the bag, you've got the tag. And when you're die cutting this, Again, really easy to simply cut. So I've got the white side here. Score this up, fold and secure with some sturdy tape. And then you've got your bag ready to go. Now with the tag, I decided to cut two pieces. So I've taken the tag shape and kind of figured out which area I want, how much of the top and the bottom border on here I wanted to use. Die cut that and then I also die cut a tag from red cardstock so I can have a little bit of additional stability on here for my tag. And so those two go together. And then I've got another one of these two little cuties here, die cut with a square and then added with a scalloped rectangle. So this is another great reason to have those multiple images in that pack because then you can coordinate as we've seen with the front and the inside of the card, but also the front and the inside of your tag in a bag project. Now this border here is from the trees and stars border dazzles. And I've simply taken one of the dazzles and mounted it onto red cardstock. And that's created this border that wraps around the outside of my bag. And I like how this coordinates with the red of the sentiment, the red of the ribbon and this sentiment as well, and creates a nice contrast with the lavender of my um, bag, which also ties in beautifully with the background color of the tag here. And then once I've got the two of these put together, this can tuck right inside, simple and easy, and creates a really fun card as a gift. Our final card project is the sparkly snowman card. Now, as with the first card, the layout is really simple. Just taking one of the card focals and layering it with cardstock. Now here, instead of layering the image with vellum, I've covered it with self-adhesive clear glitter, then trimmed it down and wrapped it with twine and added the sentiment. So here's the card focal as the original, and then I've just used a piece of self-adhesive clear glitter sheet. Let's see, the trickiest part of this, of course, is getting the peel started. 
So this will come on an A4 or slightly larger than eight and a half by 11 size sheet. I like to trim it down so it's a little bit bigger than the piece that I'm putting it on. Pull this off, not entirely. You have to handle it a bit carefully. Take it almost to the edge here. And then I'm going to position this down like so. And then slowly and carefully walk this back into place and smooth that down. It's a lot easier to keep a little bit of this on the liner so that you've got something to hang on to. And then what I do is simply trim around the outside edge and you can use your paper trimmer for this and that will give you your shape and your card focal. Sweet, simple, and of course, especially appropriate for the little snowman and his polar bear friend. And then for the card inside, I have another sentiment mounted onto a scalloped circle. And this again creates another quick, easy, and festive way to use the supplies in today's collection. And that is our final project of the day today. So a big thank you to our friends at Hunky Dory for this festive collection. So much fun to work with. And a special thanks to you for joining me today. We're really glad you're here and we are so happy you're a part of the Paper Wishes family. Do feel free to leave a comment. We love to hear what you think. Each item can be purchased separately and you can see them below. However, we've also bundled them into a creative money saver just for you. For the money saver, just see this webisode on paperwishes.com. And if you're watching us on YouTube, have a look in the description box below this video. You'll find a link that will take you to our Paper Wishes webisodes page and you can see everything I just mentioned. If you enjoyed our video today, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up. It helps people to find our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. We create three to five videos each week, so there's always something fun to inspire your creative spirit.